rights are in question tonight if you go to a congressman's town hall meeting and your camera ends up being confiscated. Good evening. Do citizens have a right to bring cameras to a public event? A Cincinnati police officer confiscated two people's cameras at a town hall meeting with Congressman Steve Shabbat. The officer took the cameras Monday night on instructions from Shabbat's staff. And now there's fallout. My news reporter Jay Warren here with a video that captured what happened. Jay? Well, that's right, Clyde. As you said, the flap arose Monday night when two Democrats recorded the congressman during the meeting, even though a sign on the door said the cameras were not allowed. But it just so happened that media cameras were there. The meeting was held here Monday night at the North Avondale Recreation Center. The group Think Progress shot this video of what happened to the cameras of the two activists. Um, obviously, the economy uh, and the lack of jobs, uh, the high unemployment rate, uh, has to be one of the Nobody was disrupting the meeting. The cameras were simply seized because Shabbat's people instructed the police officer to seize them. Tim Burke is chair of the Hamilton County Democratic Party. That's a very unusual and I believe totally inappropriate thing for a Cincinnati law enforcement officer to be instructed to do. I would argue that What's that rate is really not. In fairness, there is a world out there that where you've got people with cameras that are looking for gotcha moments and that this could wind up on some campaign ad and, and, and the congressman, you know, in an unguarded moment might look bad. The congressman is well aware of that because, in fact, he had trackers at every one of Steve Driehaus's events last year. Congressman Driehaus never excluded cameras. But I'm not disputing that that's what was going on here. But that is part of today's politics. A spokesman for Steve Shabbat says that cameras not belonging to the media were not allowed because they want to protect the privacy of people asking delicate questions to the congressman and that credentialed media generally respects that privacy. So much of this frequently becomes fodder on the internet as well. It doesn't get on the traditional media, but it clearly is out there on the internet being traded on both sides of the political aisle. Nothing inappropriate about taping a congressman when he is speaking publicly. Now a spokesman for Congressman Shabbat says that they have received feedback over this and have modified their camera policy for events in the future. They will allow cameras but ask that they not be used when someone wants to speak with the congressman privately. In the meantime, Tim Burke is asking the city about the role they had in booking the facility as are we. We'll get back to you on that. Carol? All right, Jay, thanks.